Hello, I'm Alan Peaford for Construction TV, and we're going to look now at machine control, probably the biggest buzz that we've seen at any Connexpo for some years. I'm joined by Simon Gould, who's been studying this this week. Simon, tell us about the implementation of this technology. Well, Alan, the whole of the technology sector is really a buzz with uh, solutions right across the spectrum of construction. It's you can't really view the technology in isolate any technology in isolation anymore. It's the complete solution that uh, all of the major players are talking about. We spent our time here over the week speaking to the leading experts. Let's have a look. What visitors are going to see from Con Expo 2014, it's all about technology, it's all about connectivity. Uh, from the TopCon perspective, you're going to see where we're giving our the contractors tools that they can use in the field for instant updates, constant communication. So machine control is really starting to grow in terms of adoption and awareness. A lot of OEMs are looking at it now. And of course, the customers are really starting to expand the adoption across their whole fleet. The machine-to-machine -machine communication, this is uh, very important. And it's not enough to talk from a machine to the internet and back to the machine. You need to talk to machines itself, or they need to talk to each other. We've really seen, obviously, the, the change in, in communications technology. And so you're seeing not only from TopCon, but from many other manufacturers, taking advantage of that communications technology to deliver better services to our customers. To move forward in machine control in today's modern environment, especially for customers who have mixed fleets, they've got a huge range of machinery, they don't stick with just one manufacturer. We are the company who are focused expressly on running open systems taking data from all sources, bringing it together. What we're finding now, of course, for the contractor, it's the mixed fleet problem again. They have to have a way to make this all work together seamlessly. So we're very much focused about how we help tackle that problem and encouraging the concept of trimble ready or re pre plumbed at the factory so that when you get the machine and the customer makes a decision how they're going to use that machine, that can be done at the final point of sale and not do that so early down the value stream. TopCon has been working very hard at uh, integrating our technology with major uh, OEM machine providers and uh, we have very good relationships and we continue to be delivering that technology that now a lot of customers are demanding that it's embedded in the machine. We are in discussions with a variety of manufacturers about OEM fitment uh, of differ differing levels, uh, whether it's fully integrated, partially integrated or just installed as a retrofit but at the factory so it leaves fully fitted. These options are under discussion. We have over 15 OEMs we're on at this booth today uh, at this show and so we have all our contractor oriented materials here but we also are very actively working with lots of OEMs to put our technology on their machines. The technology is getting more mainstream, more and more contractors are taking advantage so even the smaller uh, owner operators are starting to say look I need to have GPS technology on my machine. I need to be able to connect. All customers need to be able to access this technology. We are focused uh, in a lot of ways on helping the smaller to medium sized customers as well as the larger ones. So the main contractor here might have his full fleet all kitted up, but then he needs more equipment on site. He needs to use a subcontractor. And if that subcontractor can't join the 3D party, then he's out, you know, he's out cold. And that's where we want to be able to help these guys as well. The contract is starting to now see this as a really key technology to get on side and get on their business to be competitive, to win, not just machine control but all the other information software pieces too. Our products are more driven by the manufacturer. Yeah, they have other ideas in terms of telematics. They want to drill down to the sensor. It's not enough to have just data of the main controller. You want to have data of each sensor um, back to the manufacturer. They want in some cases even update the sensor. They want to give a, a new version to the customer. We solved this with a, with a new product called CG1. 
it's a it's a data port this is just introduced we started uh, with that in the waste market uh, they are a little bit further ahead because those are trucks and uh, the automotive industry is a little bit further the Leica iConnect is part of the icon portfolio and that encases our icon telematics and also the new production control suite that is coming very soon. There's a number of things in the software and relating to Vision Link, which is our site management telematics system that we aim for the mixed fleet. So we work with OEMs and we work with the contractor to sell this solution to help them track all brands of machine at any one time and any of the information related to managing that site in real time. I think that you'll see uh, in the next one, three years time a uh, huge increase in the telematics and support for the individual customer applications, giving them the information that they need to solve their problems. Not data, data doesn't help anybody. You've got to have information that allows people to make decisions and that's what we're focused on. Now we're getting into high speed uh, mapping, uh, aerial drones. We're going to see sensors, new sensors on machines that can sense not only the dirt that you're about to move, but what you've already moved in real time always feeding that back uh, so you know exactly where you are all the time. We're very interested in the extension of how you take machines, material, people, the whole site, the whole project life cycle and make it much more efficient which is way beyond just the machine piece. Uh, and again making that as uh, interoperable as we can across all the brands of machine is absolutely critical and so our goal is to try and drive that as hard as we can. So Simon, on my walks around the show, I've seen a lot of the, the big majors all talking about introducing um, machine control. But what's happening with it? When are we actually going to see it really happening? And, and is it just the big boys that are playing? One of the key strategies from, from the bigger players is um, machine control ready machines coming out of the factory ready to take that technology on board but they're also catering for the smaller end of the market so guys that aren't in at the moment that need understand they need to get in there's that entry level uh, from all of the players so it's uh, they're catering for everybody well thank you Simon that was Simon Gould and machine control I'm Alan Peaford for construction TV thank you for watching